Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So last week, I tested some HT antennas, and I got some pretty interesting results. I thought there was quite a wide range of performance in some of those antennas. Some fairly popular antennas, not so much. They weren't that great. And some kind of no-name low-end antennas actually were the star performers. So... I thought about it a little bit and I thought, well, you know, there was a couple of things that I didn't get in that video. Uh, there was one antenna I wanted to test that I didn't have an adapter for at hand when I started recording. So I just ignored that antenna. And then I remembered this beauty right here. And this is the Abri antenna. This is the, uh, I think it has a model number on it. Um, I don't know, the Abri 42 inch antenna. And if you've never seen this thing, this is probably, and it has a green bag, so that's why it kind of looks weird up there. This is a 42 inch kind of tape measure deal. So when it's fully extended, it is 42 inches long. I did a video on this probably well over a year ago where we put this on the spectrum analyzer. And if I recall that video correctly, it was surprisingly fairly good results. So what I want to do this week is I want to take this crazy thing and I want to take uh, this guy, which we didn't test last week. This is the uh, Diamond RH77CA, our three best performers from last week. One of these is the FT5D antenna stock. This is off of a Baofeng UV6R stock. And this one is off of a BTEC 6X2 stock. These three antennas were by far and away much better performers than a couple of the other antennas we had. So well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw these back in the video uh, for reference just to see what they look like. And we'll again, we'll get all the traces on the screen. And then I'm going to go um, a mile or two miles away and we'll transmit and see what it looks like on the 9700 and see if um, one of them is putting out better power than the others. Or if, if either one of these two over here are performing better than last week's stars of the show. So without further ado, let's get at it. So now we're here in Antscope, which is the software we use with the Rig Expert to test antennas. I'm going to take this guy, this is the Abri, and we're not gonna test it in this folded down configuration. We're gonna deploy it in its fully erect position. And uh, I gotta be careful because this thing is 42 and a half inches long. So it is pretty much a half wavelength at two meters. So we ought to have really excellent results on the two meter band with this antenna. All right, we've got the Abri hooked up and fully deployed. Okay, so we're sweeping from 120 megahertz to 464 megahertz, just so we can see both of the, the two meter and the 440 on our screen. This is the Abri antenna fully deployed. So let's see what it looks like. Very good looking on two meters below two. And on 70 below three, about two and a half. So that is, um, that's not terrible. Now that's fully deployed. So if you use this in a different configuration, fold it over um, tactical, tactical warrior style or something, your results are gonna vary. Our next antenna is the Diamond. This is the Diamond RH77CA. This is the one we didn't test last week because I didn't have a BNC adapter for it. And let's run this guy. This is antenna B, the diamond antenna. About 3.4 at two meters and looking really good at uh, 70 centimeters, all the way down to 1.5 or so to one at the higher end of the 70 centimeter band. So not bad, all right? Now let's rehash our three performers from last week and see what they look like this week. This is the Yesu FT5D stock antenna. Let's see what he looks like. Decent on two meters. And on 440, eh, not so bueno. I don't think that's the results we had last week. Is that on tight? Yes, it is. Well, it is what it is. All right, here is the UV Baofeng UV6R stock antenna. This was also a good performer last week. Beautiful. 
beautiful on two meters. Look at that SWR on two. This is the Baofeng antenna. And decent enough at 70 centimeters. This antenna wants to be your two meter antenna. And then last but not least is the BTEC 6X2 stock antenna. And let's sweep this one. And also looks great at two and looks pretty excellent at 440, below three to one for most of the band on the higher end of it. All right, so let's jump in and take a close look at uh, each of the bands real quick and take a look and see what those, uh, let's zoom in here a little bit, we can see what we're doing. All right, so here's the Abri antenna. That's that, uh, this orange line here. That's the 42 and a half inch Abri antenna fully deployed. Here is our diamond antenna, pretty flat across two meters at about 3.2. This is the FT5D antenna right there. This is the 6R, UV6R antenna right there. On the, uh, is that on the green line? The green line, yep. That's our UV6R antenna with this stupid low SWR and a two meter band. And then last but not least, this light red line is our 6X2 antenna. So that's the two meter specs. Let's go look at the 70 centimeter real quick and repeat our looks. So first of all, the orange line, that is the Abri fully extended. That's um, below three for about half the band little more than half the band, the upper half of the 70 centimeter band. Then this is our diamond antenna, the purple line that just highlighted. And it's below two for uh, over half the band. And then we have the FT5D stock antenna. That's the red line. Then the next one is our Baofeng UV6R stock antenna. That's that bright green line. And then last but not least, it's this light red line and that is the 6x2 antenna. So you can see there's um there's quite a lot of difference. Now, I gotta say, let's um let's close that out. This is the most bloody ridiculous looking antenna I have ever seen. I mean, it's 42 and a half inches long. The element, then there's the base. And the thing is not lightweight. If you have this on your HT, I swear I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use this at Huntsville. And I could put a flag on the top of it so everyone could see where I was. This thing is heavy. I mean, and, and it's basically a tape measure inside it. But dang, if it doesn't, uh, doesn't seem like it performs pretty well. So for our next test, I'm going to go take my 6X2 radio, which is what I used to test last week. And I'm going to go a couple miles away. And we'll see what kind of signal we're picking up on the 9700 with uh, these five antennas. Stick with me. YCD testing. Antenna A, this is the Abri antenna, 2.3 miles from the receiver. Antenna A, testing the Abri antenna, full extension. All right, guys, we saw some real world results there. In those field tests that we just did, I was 2.3 miles away from my two meter antenna that's up here on the roof of the house. I tested with a BTEC 6X2 radio. You can see I still have a test marking device on my antenna. Uh, you saw the results. Your mileage may vary. A lot of this is dependent on terrain. There's a couple hills up and down my road between me and the test point. So, you know, but again, it's real world. It's real world.
as you saw this ridiculous looking thing, let me get that all on camera, fully deployed is by far and away outstanding compared to the other HT antennas. And like I said, a lot of that is terrain and conditions and, and a whole host of other factors. Am I going to carry this around on my HT? No, probably not. But if I'm trying to do a two meter soda or something, or POTA rather, this would be a go-to antenna for me. If you're trying to do it with an HT, this is going to help you get just about every ounce of RF out of your HT, more so than one of these rubber duck style antennas, whether it's this diamond antenna or the stock one that comes on your radio. Either way, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you would, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. My statistics show that 90% of you guys are not even subscribed. It's free. It won't cost you anything. and It'll make you happy. If you would, also ring the bell in the doodly-doo down below somewhere over there, I think. And that will notify you whenever I post any new videos. Y'all have a great day. 73.